வணக்கம் வந்தனம் நமஸ்தே டு ஆல் தி வியூவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அஸ்ட்ராலஜி ஃபார் யூ நான் உங்கள் மங்கை ராதாகிருஷ்ணன் பல வாரங்களாக பல ஆறு வாரங்களை கொடுத்து கொண்டிருக்கு நாம் இந்த வாரம் வார் வாரம் ஆம் ருஷ்யா உக்ரைனிடையே நடந்துகொண்டிருந்த இந்த ஒரு போரை பற்றி நமது அஸ்ட்ராலஜி என்ன கூறுகிறது என்பதை நாம் பார்க்கலாம் வி ஆல் நோ தேட் ரஷ்யா உக்ரைன் are getting into war and this is the eighth day if i am not wrong so from the astrology point of view what is going to happen and when this war is going to get peak if at all how long this war between russia and ukraine will sustain and when it will come to an end or some kind of comfort or uh you no know, support for the common man in the globe so with all these questions i have great pleasure in welcoming our divine dr k v n prasad to answer to these questions welcome dr prasad namaste see many times i shoot questions this time <laughs> i'm really going to shoot questions on yeah. what is going to happen in these kind of shooting happens between russia and ukraine over to doctor okay okay thank you thank you radha krishnan uh, let's uh, get started so you asked a lot of questions right uh, actually we should have uh, done this much uh, earlier but anyway better late than never uh, let me share my screen also so that i can uh, explain yes. uh, great all these questions are from our viewers were all you know yeah. consistently asking me we wanted to know we wanted to know so i i just collected and i am representing our viewers right 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 okay uh, so basically right uh, we are just going to explain astrologically what is going to happen or what is happening and yeah. uh, how this uh, war situation is going to uh, turn around right how it goes okay. to come okay yeah. so uh, basically the timing if you look at it right so today is uh, like 3 3 i mean 3rd march in us still in okay. in, uh, in india it's already 4th uh, march right yeah. but if you see here mars is in 3 degrees 59 minutes okay and see this pluto 3 degrees 40 minutes 40 40 minutes it is mars is very close to pluto it just crossed pluto okay, okay. and along with that we have saturn uh, venus and uh, mercury in capricorn sign this is capricorn sign okay. so what did what this signifies is mars saturn and with pluto it is very dangerous situation okay oh. a very dangerous situation not uh, you know no welcoming it's no wonder the war uh, started uh, okay. you know around this time and then because of these planets placement mars is a very aggressive planet uh, okay. it uh, denotes uh, you know uh, aggressiveness fights wars and all and the saturn also and especially pluto also in fact pluto also denotes uh, the atomic bombing or pandemics you know all those oh. type of things as well okay. see here mars is so close to pluto okay all right and then uh, uh and capricorn sign is mars's exalted position exalted house okay so mars okay. is very excited very exalted it has a full strength so okay. with this combination mm. these things happening Uh, right i was just checking uh when mars was touched uh, touching pluto very closely that is okay. the time then i saw uh, today's news so right today morning or afternoon i don't know the exact time today okay. already there is the news that uh europe's largest nuclear plant in ukraine is on fire oh my god because of because of uh, bombing or whatever so that is happening right so that is caused with this because of this combination right so that being said 
uh, you said, okay, you asked me how long this is going to continue, yes, all right? So this will this will continue for like for some time. So basically, the critical time pe period uh, for us will be from March to twentieth March to twentieth April. That one oh. month is going to be very very critical. Oh, okay, very very critical. So basically, twentieth March means what happens is uh, say let's say. Uh, let me edit here, that's easy. Okay. So the 20th March, it will be Mars will come like within 10 degrees of Saturn. Okay. okay. So that that is where it will uh, it will have more impact, more wider, closer impact. Okay. okay. So that has to cross the Saturn degree and then Mars has to move to Aquarius sign. Okay. okay, so that is what is when is happening. What did I say? 20th April, right? Yes, yes, doctor. 20th April. Let us see. So 20th April. So 20th oh. April, it goes okay. to Aquarius sign and the degrees are this 10 degrees. Okay. okay. And then uh, Saturn is 29 degrees, still in Capricorn. So it is like more than 10 degrees. So the effect will be less. Yes. So that is the critical time period. Okay. And when it is again, it is going to be peak is basically between April 2nd to April 7th. That is oh. the time Mars is going to cross Saturn. Oh. During that time, again, there will be, uh, uh, you know, a lot of activity in, mm. during that time. Okay. okay. So that time is again, is going to be very critical. So, okay. uh, then what happens is, let's say if I put one month, all right? So after uh, 15th May, okay, okay, after 15th May only, uh, see here, I mean, Saturn enters uh, Aquarius and okay. then so still there is like a 29 degrees gap, not yeah. much of yeah. impact, okay? okay? So from this 15th, 16th May onwards, you will okay. see, we will start seeing improvement. And especially on 17th, then Mars will go to Pisces sign, Mina Rasi, along okay. with Jupiter. So that is the time, like we can see, you know, no less effect, then things will start cooling down. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Great. So, <laughs> yeah, it is going to be tough, uh, tough time until then. Uh, yeah. So between, uh, again, for viewers, Critical time is 20th March, uh, 22, 2022 to 20th March, uh, sorry, 20th April, April. one month. Okay. Yeah. And it will get into the peak, the uh, ultimate, you know, thing from uh, April 2nd to April 7th. April 7th. 7th. Sorry. Where uh, all these planets are in a very, very bad situation and uh, it's definitely going to have a, a very, very high impact. So a March 20th to April 20th, impact is definitely there. Very high impact will be there from April 2nd to April 7th, 7th. as per astrological predictions and the movements of the plants. Correct. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. for actually showing. You know, many people simply say, we all said he is just telling, you know, from his intuition. But uh, you being, you know, scientifically telling that how is going to affect Definitely, you know, it will educate a lot of people like us to guess why it is happening. Thank you very much for, you know, uh, enlightening us with these kind of very good details on astrology. But uh, we used to hear now a lot of, you know, international news and local, you know, um, news magazines and, you know, medias. So uh, as, an, as a, a common man, I understand there is a substantial interest or involvement of United States of America uh, to instigate uh, this war with Ukraine. So what is your view on that? <laughs> you are asking very serious and tricky question. Um, so based on the planetary positions, right? Based on the planetary positions, yeah. I see there is involvement of US in this situation, okay? And that involvement is like uh, secretive okay. or 
US might be having some other plans which is not um, publicly available or publicly known. I oh. don't know. It is secretive. Say, for example, uh, when this COVID started, uh, it's uh, like today is March 3rd, right? I think the first video I made on COVID was on March 6th or 5th around this okay. time. Okay. The very first video I said, COVID, the cause of that COVID is very secretive and nobody knows what it mm. is. And then, right? It's like two years now. Still, okay. there are only rumors of uh, how the COVID uh, coronavirus originated, but we don't know the actual reason, uh, sure. right? So, so this also, <laughs> uh, it will be something like that. Uh, okay. So, in my opinion, like there are some, there is some secrecy in this. Uh, so, only time will tell uh, when that will come out. Uh, but until now, like it is, it is secretive, like it won't be open. Okay. <laughs> until some good agencies find this uh, real intention of United States of America, let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. But I can't keep my fingers crossed. Any war in any part of the globe will affect the global economy. And India is also part of that. So as an Indian, I just wanted to know, uh, Dr. Prasad, how this war or effects of war going to impact India economically and politically, if at all. I just wanted to hear from you. Over to Dr. Prasad. Okay, okay. So as far as uh, impact on India is concerned, right? So it is definitely having an impact. It is going to definitely have an impact, right? Okay. Uh, so the entire war period, uh, right? I mean, again, there are some domestic uh, um, elections are also happening in India, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, and other uh, three states, right? So that yeah. also is going on. And then plus this war and uh, all, all sorts of things, too many things are happening to India at the same time, right? Yeah. So definitely there is impact and there will be impact on the market uh, as well. Okay, yeah. uh, so there will be impact on the market as well. So things will start improving. Uh, oh. In fact, let me, before going to improve, uh, improvement, um, like so basically from again mid april uh, okay. things might be even more tighter for india okay, okay. Uh, until um, again uh, until mid may say mid -May. after uh, after may uh, uh, what is the date i said okay after may 15th uh, right then things might uh, start improving for improving. india uh, but until then, from April, uh, around that April month, it is going to be very tight for India as well. Uh, so, mm, yeah, if somebody wants to enter stock market, don't enter right now, just wait. That's <laughs> what I would say. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you, Dr. Prasad. Uh, you beautifully narrated uh, uh, how the war is going to start, uh, move forward, attain a peak, and then probably start, you know, reducing the impact. I also told how the secret mission between a more country with Ukraine and thing, uh, how it is going to be exposed over a period of time. Uh, we can remember fast, uh, crossed. And uh, yes, uh, the share market uh, definitely is going to fall down. The crude oil is going to, you know, touch and speak. So we need to live a tougher life uh, till uh, May mid. So let's all, let's hope that this will the war will come to an end soon, and we can see peace around us very soon. Thank you so much, Dr. Prasad, and uh, thank you for all the viewers of Astrology for you. Thank you so much. Have a great thank day. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Thanks for watching my video. If you need astrology or Vastu consultations, please contact me at 408-909-5867 or visit at my website www.astrologyfouryou.us.